Greetings, everyone. Raymond Lacoste here with Stormwind Studios. And I just want to take this opportunity to remind all of you that you are insider threats. That's right. Whether you intend to do something on purpose or you accidentally do something, you are a risk to your organization. So I just want to give you three measures that you can embrace. They're very easy to do that'll help you reduce your risk to your organization. So first and foremost, adhere to the security policies and procedures that have been laid out by your organization. Understand and follow these policies. Understand and follow these procedures. There's a reason why they're created. They're created to what? Protect the organization, but also to protect each and every single one of you. If you follow these policies, you follow these procedures, even if they seem ridiculous to you, it doesn't matter. They're there for a reason, like creating strong, unique passwords for your accounts and not reusing passwords for accounts or making sure that everyone has to badge in coming through the door and you don't let other people in through with you. All of these little things that may seem silly are there to ensure that risks are significantly reduced. So that's one way you can reduce the chances of you being the reason why a cyber breach occurred in your organization. Follow those security policies, follow those security procedures, and there's less, uh, less likelihood that you will be ultimately the reason for that cyber incident. So therefore, maintain those operational security practices. Be mindful, for example, of the information you share, both inside your organization and outside of your organization. Sitting down in the lunchroom with somebody and talking about some project you're working on or sharing something you, some piece of data you saw, even if it's just verbally, that is extremely dangerous. It's risky to the organization, especially if that person's not supposed to know that information. Yes, you're great friends. Yes, you trust each other. But the sharing of information that is not intended to be shared with those people could ultimately result in a cyber incident on your hands. So don't discuss those sensitive pro uh, projects. Don't dis discuss any type of sensitive data in any type of unsecure environment or even a secure environment with those people that you should not be sharing it with. And always be mindful of what? Social engineering tactics that are taking place that might be there to manipulate you into giving up some of that information. And lastly, my personal favorite is the Jedi principle. What is the Jedi principle? Now, this is not an official security principle. This is a principle that I like to call be mindful of your surroundings, young Padawan. If you're a Star Wars fan, you hear that a lot. Be mindful of your surroundings, young Padawan. Be mindful, right? So think about yourself. Are you yourself being mindful of what is going on around you from a safety and security standpoint? If you notice anything unusual, maybe a colleague is doing something that violates policies, violates procedures. Maybe they're accessing files they shouldn't be, as an example. You need to consider reporting that. If you receive suspicious emails asking for sensitive information, you should be reporting that. If you badge into the building and somebody tailgates behind you, mindful of your surroundings, step up. Be a leader when it comes to security and tell that person, sorry, you can't come in. You must badge in as well. Very important. Why? Because we're trying to maintain the confidentiality, the integrity, the availability, the accountability of what? Of our entire organization, the people, the processes, the procedures, the data, everything that goes along with it. So in the end, just by you, and everyone else around you adhering to these practices just a little bit more than you already do is going to help create a more secure working environment for all and therefore do what? Reduce the risk of accidental or even intentional insider threats. So until next time, folks, keep on being safe 
and keep on being secure.